Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a drop-down rash menu since it was requested by one of our subscribers in the school server. So now let's hop into the video. Alright, so here I am, Visual Studio Code. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna create a file. Gonna name it uh, Drop Menu RR.js. Apparently. Alright. Let's uh, put our command handler things and then put here like Drop. Uh, drop menu or 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 let's just name it uh, dr all right so now let's just do like this require uh, the square buttons all right we gonna need message action row we gonna need message uh, message menu and we gonna need message menu button uh, option I mean all right so now, uh, what we're gonna need is, let's just do like this, I'm gonna uh, use two rows uh, just to show how it works, alright? So const option1 equal new disk, uh, new message menu option, alright, dot set uh, value, alright? Let the value be uh, roll one or uh, dr one, all right, and then the set label. Uh, let's put here the role's name basically. So uh, the role can be uh, let's put it as the unverified one, right? So uh, unverified. Here we go, and then the set description. Description let it be uh, please click to uh, to get or remove the role. All right. Let's now copy it one and two. Even though I'm doing it with two roles, but we're gonna need three options and you're gonna know why. Now I'm gonna just put this. And here it's gonna be uh, DR return. Alright. This can be the highest shit. Alright, I know the perfect, this is the perfect name. For the video anyways uh now let's put the label as uh like hold all right the hold and then here used to select the same role again and if you are confused right now you're gonna see why we need this uh third one anyways let's continue const uh, the menu, const menu equal uh, new message menu dot set placeholder gonna be uh, click to select a arrow alright dot set uh, id uh, dr just, just let it be dr, all right, and then dot set or dot add options, and let's put here uh, option one, option two, and option three. Perfect. We can also create it as message action row as well. I prefer doing it like this, so I'm gonna just do message uh, const row equal a uh, new message action row all right dot set or dot add component 
gobby menu all right and then i want to just create an embed or let's actually make it normal message i don't need to make it an embed so uh message dot channel to send uh hey there let's start by getting you some uh roles and then let's put the row here all right so now let me do like this come on clear no dot all right now let's uh try it so we call uh the r here all right so now if i click on anything nothing's gonna happen we're just interaction field so i'm not gonna put the event over here because if i put the event over here literally after restarting the bot this is not gonna work so i'm gonna put it normally in my index or for you it can be the event handler so client.on uh, click menu all right a sync menu like that all right so first I want to get the person who clicked on the uh, menu so const member equal menu or actually uh, let me show you something if I want to check first if the member has the role so I'm gonna do if uh, mem let's do const member actually never mind let's do const member equal member dot uh, menu I mean dot clicker dot member but I will change that in a while but I want you just to know what's gonna happen so if member dot rows dot has uh, or don't have uh, so actually if uh, menu dot value values zero is equal equal to dr1 i guess dr1 is the unverified all right so i want to do this so let me just put the id here got it chuck it over here all right so if you don't have the role all right here this all right else if he has the role all right let's put it like this so uh, if he don't have the role because I have an exclamation mark over here I want to add the role to him so member and also I need to, to put cache over here all right so if uh, member dot roles dot add on the role ID, all right, equal uh, not equal, just let's actually await it, and then uh, menu dot reply dot send, you got the unverified role, and let's put true here, so gotta be a fair more. All right, so uh, let's actually make, put return as well. And then I'm gonna just copy it, put it over here, but I'm gonna just put here remove, and here removed the unverified, uh, unverified role. All right, so uh, now I want to do the second row. All right. Here we go, f is equal to 2, and the other uh, row ID, this one. Alright, let me remove the role from me as well. So I'm gonna just replace them, replace, then highest h 
hit, all right, anything. All right, so uh, I want to check for the last one. As I told you, there is one last one that is hold, if you remember it. It's the D3, uh, the R3. Uh, it's just to hold it, so uh, nothing is gonna happen actually. Menu dot reply dot defer that's it all right let me show you how uh how will this work and why i'm gonna change this the definition of uh member so now if i click on i'm verified he's gonna wait got an editor rolls of null where All right, here. So, actually, to fix this, we can uh, can actually do await menu dot message dot guild dot uh, members dot fetch, and then you can put here user I'm gonna be the menu dot clicker dot member.id false gonna be true all right let's try this it should work all right so i'm verified here we go id of new uh we can actually do user Right, menu.clicker.user.id. Let's try it now. As you can see, now I got the unverified role. If I chose this, as you can see, it gave me uh, the role again. But the problem, I cannot press on it again, like nothing's gonna happen. So, I'm gonna just Press on hold, you're gonna hold it. There is, uh, there will not be any errors. I see, oh, there is one. Uh, wait, what was it? Oh, okay. Let me just put it over here. I put the wrong ID. If I pressed on hold, but I, I need to wait the bot until it gets online. Hold on. Okay, now if I press on hold, as you can see, it just defers and nothing happens. Now I can choose the raw again to be removed. As you can see, it got removed. Verified again. As you can see, uh, I want to get the verified role. I don't have to get this, so I'm going to press on hold. And then I'm verified. I'm going to get the role. Easy. So that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And to leave a comment down below what you want the next video to be. That's it. And ciao.